All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakapadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutation to the hopeful lake out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds. In the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful lake, the believers, the listeners, whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And, you know, what I want to touch on this morning, you know, is dealing with how pride is blind. You know, pride is blind. And, one thing about this ministry, we can think, you know, that we are in a situation, you know, where we got all our T's crossed and our I's dotted, okay? But there's still something within us, you know, that has to be drawn out, that has to be purged out, okay? And I spoke on it before. <laughs> And Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is so cold, you know, he's been, you know, setting me up to be broken, okay, to pull things out of me, man, to purge things out of me, you know? And it's going throughout, you know, the body because as we get ready to go into this Passover, man, we want to be without blemish, okay? And once certain flaws, okay, certain mindsets that get exposed that's off, it got to be adjusted. It got to, you know, we got to repent from it. <laughs> you see? It got to be, it got to be pulled out. Like, you know, we always go to the, the little leavening and the spirit is drawing out all the leaven. Things we didn't know was there. <laughs> okay? But it takes fire for that living to rise, man. And like I said before, when it rises, then we got to make the adjustment. Now it's noticeable. Now we got to make adjustments, man. And one thing about pride is pride to have you blind. Okay? Now I'm truly understanding a lot of the simple things that I said you know, by the apostles and elders, you know, the elders of, of, of these camps, you know, the simple, the, 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 the simple things of the scriptures. Now, a lot of things is making way more sense now, man. But it take experience for things to really click. You know, reading and teaching is one thing, but the experience, that's what really put it in you. <laughs> you see? <laughs> That's what really put it in you. And one thing about it, when you read Proverbs 22 and 15, it says, Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from them. Okay? The rod of corrections drive it far from them. So, Foolishness, because you gotta understand, we're children. We're children in the spirit. Okay, <laughs> us it's us younger brothers, man, we are children in the spirit, and there's still foolishness in our mind that has to be corrected. It only gets corrected through the ride, man, which is the scriptures. Okay. And within the scripture contains what? Rebuke. All right? And we have to have the understanding. Okay? We have to have the understanding to know, damn, <laughs> I messed up. Even if it wasn't our intentions, man. You know? Because at the end of the day, how about Shema Oshai has to showcase that we're children. Because, see, you have a child 
let's say, you know, a young Jake, he get 12 or 13, he might, you know, get as tall as his father when he's 12 or 13. You see, he might can wear his father's shoes when he's, you know, 12 or 13, you know? And him being able to do that will create a false sense of, of, of reality, man. And that's through pride. But if his father <laughs> took him to work with him one day and showed him what he did every day, and then he'll see there's a difference between him and his father. Okay? If he's seen all the things that his father was responsible for, okay, in order for him to live that lifestyle that he lived, he would see there's a difference between him and his father. Okay? And that's what has to be shown in certain situations so we'll know it's a difference, man. You know, because this flesh will get content. The, like pride, pride don't just jump on the scene. You know, it creeps in. It plants a seed. You know? And then it grows. Okay? But the Wadi Yahweh Bashima Shah for not letting you know, things grow out of control, man. You see? Because pride just want to be right. Pride had you blind to the bigger picture where you just want to be right. Okay? Pride had you blind to how your decision making affects everyone else. And that's a dangerous place to be in. That's a dangerous place to be in, man. And you how about Shimao Shah showed mercy? I'm just now understanding mercy, man. You know? I can tell you who 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 funded, you know, Alexander the Great War. I can tell you the type of, you know, alloys that Russia used in their tanks. I can tell you the the how the fastest missile, how many miles it go per second. But I'm just learning mercy, man. Cause it ain't about that. You know? I'm just learning humility, integrity. It, it, it's levels to it, man. Cause you can have these things, you know, but then it's levels to it. You know, you can have these things to a degree, but it's levels to it, man. And there's a reason why. The apostle elders are in those positions, man. There's a reason why the elders of these camps are set up over us, man. Okay? This is a governing body, man. You know, I always, you know, speak about sovereignty. But the thing about sovereignty, what keeps sovereignty, the difference between sovereignty and chaos is order. Not, and, and not this order with limitations, man. Complete order. Okay, when it comes to the ranking system, that's what separates sovereignty, okay, from chaos is the order. You can have a, a, a right intention, but it can be out of order. And this is and that's what you know we're learning, man. You know? And it just you know makes me look at everything, everything different from a completely different lens, man. And, you know, the Wadi Yahweh Bashim al Shah for correction, man, and mercy, because it could have, it could have been bad, man. It could have been bad. You know? I don't get this. You know, we close it out. This is, uh, This is Sirach 30 and 1. It says, He that loveth his son causes him off to feel the ride that he that he may have joy with him in the end. And that's that correction, man. We need that, man. We need rebuke. We, we, we need brothers, all right, to be on our ass, man. Okay, this is spirit, this is spiritual warfare. 
and everybody is subjugated, you know, for demons hopping on them, man, even if it's for a day, even if it's for a week, man. You know, you know how much the damage a demon can do in a week? You see? But there's men set up that a conversation from them or get, or get that demon off them, man. <laughs> you see? Or get, or get that demon off a brother, man. We got to cherish, you know, leadership. We got to truly trust, you know, without wavering, you know. We got to cut out, you know, cliques. And we got to move as a body, man. That's the only way. Ain't no other way. <laughs> Ain't no other way, man. You know. And I'd rather be broken than on the outside looking in. Shit sucks. And I understand in the song when King David said, you know, his bed was full of tears, man. Now, now I get it. <laughs> you know? Now, now I get it. It makes sense now. You see? But we, we have a uh, a leadership start with the apostles and the elders that are extremely balanced, man. <laughs> They understand discipline and mercy, man. They understand discipline and mercy. You know? And, you know, you brothers, you know, you few sisters, We have to understand that this, this, <laughs> the, the, the government government of Yahweh by Shema Shai <laughs> is on the earth and they're judging they're set up in their position and they're judging the water for mercy shalom